What is up guys? My name is the Italian Jedi and today we are here to review 1978 I Spit on Your Grave. Now, I love this movie. It is probably one of my favorite horror films of all time. Uh, <coughs> and one of my favorite cult films of all time. And, you know, one of my favorite cult films of the 70s also and horror films of the 70s. And, you know, this movie was made by, uh, uh, Mier, Mier, Mier Zarke, Zar, Zarke, Zarche, I don't, Mier Zarke, something like that. Um, anyways, yeah, you know, I fucking love this film. And, so, you know, let's just get right into it, man. Uh, it's really freaking awesome. So, anyways, basically this movie is about, um... Oh yeah, it's it's also known as Day of the Woman, just in case if uh, you weren't familiar with the original title, I Spit on Your Grave. Well, anyways, uh, basically this film is about this woman who is going to this town. I mean, she is in this town and she's writing a book there for inspiration and stuff. And she's spending the summer there and she ends up meeting like these four guys. And you know, one day she's outside writing her book and these four guys... Are like riding around in these boats, um, and they're like really, really distracting her, and you know she ends up getting really annoyed by it, and uh, these guys they end up attacking her and raping her. All four of them end up getting to rape her, and she, she, it's it's really, really, um, it, it was really controversial back in seventy eight. I can really already tell that. I mean, plus it, it says it on the back of here. It stands alone as one of the most controversial films ever made. Um, anyways, you know, uh, the group had this one guy named... Uh, what was his name? I don't really know what the hell his name was. But he... Uh, they, they told uh, this one guy that was part of their group to go and kill the girl after they all got done raping her. And the guy, you know, he was too scared to, so he told him that he did, even though he didn't. And this girl, you know, she call, she crawls back home, and she ends up um, taking a bath and stuff, and, you know, she's just really... she She's, you know, she, she's a little bit scared, but, you know, she wants to get fucking payback, and that's exactly what she fucking does. It's kind of like Kill Bill in a way, um, except they don't kill her at the beginning of the movie, and then she ends up going on a revenge. No, this girl ends up going, like, kind of way worse than what, um, than what the bride did from Kill Bill. Uh, you know, it's, it stars Camille Keaton, and you're in Tabor, Richard Pace, Anthony Nichols, Gun and Gunter Kleeman. I think those are the four guys. Yeah. Um, well, anyways, you know, the girl is played by Camille Keaton. And it's a really gory film. They show a lot of blood in it. And uh, they do show the rape scenes and stuff. But it's, it's very emotional during that time. During those uh, rape scenes, obviously they are. But, you know, you start to feel... a. F this woman's anger and stuff, you know, you, you you want her to get fucking payback. You want her to get vengeance over herself. And, you know, it's it's such an awesome film right here. Like, if you, if you haven't seen this, uh, I highly recommend this movie. Go out and buy it. If it's on TV, record that shit if you have DVR. Because uh, I actually saw this film on accident. I mean, not on accident, but... Uh, it, I wasn't really planning on watching it. You know, I, I was probably... Do, I don't know what the heck I was doing. But, uh, you know, just... I was watching Turner Classic Movies, and this movie came on, like, about, like, 11 o'clock in the morning. And I saw this movie, and for that first time, I was just like, holy shit, this movie is so good. And I loved it so much... I went to go buy it on DVD, and, you know, that's, that's what I really love about this film, you know, that, 
they were able to do this stuff legally in the late 70s. Uh, like, I'm really surprised about how they got away with it. But, you know, I'm really happy that they were able to make this film. You know, this, this film ended up getting a uh, remake, and that remake ended up making a bunch of sequels to it. And it's just such an awesome fucking film. And it's really special to me also. Uh, but, uh, yeah, other than that, that's what I really thought for I Spit on Your Grave. Uh, probably one of the best horror films and cult films I've ever seen. Uh, you know, if you guys enjoyed this video, please go ahead and leave a like, subscribe, comment down below what you thought about this movie or what you thought of the review. Uh, go ahead and do all that. Other than that, uh, my name is the Italian Jedi, and see you guys next time. Bye.